All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can have head-on collisions with galaxies. It's Universe Sandbox 2. I don't even know why I'm hanging around with Venus. No one really likes Venus and they're not the star of the show today. Today, we're actually going to be using Venus's more attractive and college educated brother, the Earth. Universe Sandbox 2 is one of those games where either the game will eventually break or gravity will break if you do enough of something. And so today, I wanna see how many Earths the sun can possibly support until either the game is completely unplayable or the gravity of all the Earths ends up screwing with each other and then the entire galaxy probably ends up dying. All right, so here's Earth, home of Florida Man and a bunch of other people that aren't in the news as much. Now in the beginning, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these Earths far enough apart so that, you know, they're not immediately destroying one another because I'm hoping for at least 100 Earths. Oh, this is awesome. It's like a conveyor belt of Earths. This is very easy to do. Okay, so, so far we have 50 Earths. And you know what? Everything still works. I don't think anyone's killed each other yet. We even have a little bit of orbit left to use. I don't actually know how these two Earths got in line with one another. I feel like because, you know, whatever, I have like a, a little bit of a, a of a twitch or something like that if I click that a bunch of the Earths are completely offline with one another. So it's it's almost like the NASCAR of the solar system. In the inside lane, the DuPont Earth takes the lead. All of the Earths are pretty much okay though. You've got like 16 degrees Celsius, like a 15 degrees Celsius over here. So they're all basically the same temperature. Everyone's still alive. And Florida man can continue to kill his imaginary friend and then turn himself into the police. All right, since we have such a good margin of error right now, we can go ahead and go with 100 Earths. Okay, now things are getting a little bit closer. Oh, crap. Okay, um, so we have some problems. Right at about 66 Earths, we've already had our first two smash into one another. But you know, gravity is a good thing, so maybe they'll be all right. Come on, Earths, you can save yourself. All right, you're probably beyond saving, but maybe the second one will be all right. Hey, look, reintegrating back with society. Incredible. Okay, we're at 100 Earths right now. Now, a few of the Earths have kind of, you know, gone off and done their own thing at this point, um, but the rest of them are, are moving mostly in harmony. Man, a little distance will really screw you up. It is 56.9 degrees Celsius on this Earth, and right over here, it's 16.2, whereas over here, it's 70.3. I feel like Oh, because its orbit passes by the sun so close, it retains all of its heat. Hey, how you guys feeling on the uh, 70 degrees Celsius Earth? We're just doing some mud and gray. Fantastic. On a sad note, the polar ice caps have indeed finally melted. Whereas on this Earth, the polar ice caps are starting to engulf most of North America. Canada is just one complete ice chunk right now. I know someone in the comment section is gonna be like, that's how Canada really looks. I think the UK and Germany and stuff is also accepting a lot of snow and ice right now. This is actually one of our coldest Earths over here. It's only two degrees Celsius. I like how on this Earth, it is all snow all the time, except for Australia. <laughs> So now I'm gonna see if I can squeeze 150 Earths in here. Okay, we've got 150 Earths now. A few of them have decided to take a hike. The rest of them though are doing okay. If you go into the chart mode, it'll show you everything that's in the solar system. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous thing. <laughs> On the plus side, it's kind of cool to see how different Earths are iced over in different places and how some of them are totally okay. Negative two degrees Celsius Earth, so that's the Russian Earth. 15, 16, 16, 27, that kind of blows. 57, negative 357, and right next to that, Venus, which no one, still no one loves you. I'm actually letting time go here for a little bit just to see if the Earths all behave okay. I'm really surprised. The FPS is trash, but for the most part, all of the Earths are still in line with one another. Clearly, this means there isn't enough Earths. 200 Earths. And the solar system is still mostly working. The only issue is, if I put any more Earths in, the game becomes completely unplayable. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to put a small, 
black hole, kind of on the outskirts of all of the orbits here, just to see if any Earths can survive the passerby black hole. Okay, uh, the black hole is really pissing the orbit off. Oh, that's amazing, hold on. There is just a ton of Earth ricocheting off the black hole. I've made it so that the black hole doesn't move. So it's just like a, it's the police officer of the galaxy, essentially. It's telling all of the Earths to make a U-turn. I'd like to see though, if anyone can get past this or if the black hole is going to become the new orbital position for the galaxy. A lot of Earths are kind of just getting slingshotted away. <laughs> Go ahead and speed up time a little bit here. Some of the Earths are kind of looking like they may end up flying into the sun. <laughs> oh no! There it goes. There's so many trails. But when you turn the trails off, it just looks like a bunch of bees <laughs> angrily flying around the hive. Okay, the black hole did its thing. I'm gonna get rid of it and see if any of the Earths can stabilize and remain inside of the habitable zone. The year is 2032. After the culling, a huge amount of Earths just went off into space. So these ones are all completely gone. Uh, but we do have multiples that are still within the solar system. 113 degrees Celsius. It's a little hot, even if you're from Florida. Negative 43. That's probably a little cold, even if you're in Canada. This is interesting. This Earth ended up getting its orbit reversed. So it orbits this way around the sun now. This is interesting. We've got a couple of Earths that are coming in from outside of the the solar system now trying to rejoin. Yeah, see the screw you Earth is nice half of the time. And then as it gets to this point of the orbit, it goes up to 54 degrees Celsius. And then as it goes out of the orbit, it goes down to about 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, I've got another idea of something I wanna do here. And it should work a lot better than like slowing everything down to two FPS. I'm gonna put a ton of Earths in the sun's orbit again, but I'm going to have all the Earths also within each other's orbit, if that's ma if that makes any sense. I'll show you. All right, so we got the sun. I'm gonna pick the habitable zone, add our first Earth. Okay, now that the first Earth is within the orbit, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna add Earths to the orbit of this Earth. It's gonna be wild because all the gravity is going to be pulling on each other. Look how close they are to each other. Actually, you know what? We can do further than this. We can have Earths orbiting the Earth that are orbiting the Earth. Oh yeah. I wanna get at least a hundred of these. We've got 100 Earths. It's just Earthception over and over and over again. Okay, I'm gonna follow the middle Earth. Not like the Tolkien Earth. Just the Earth that happens to be in the middle. They're all on the same plane too, which is awesome. Okay, here we go. Now they're all within the orbit of the sun, which should cause some horrible things to happen. Now this is some freeway stuff right over here. We already have our first hit. One of the Earths has already collided into another Earth almost immediately. That actually happened a lot faster than I thought it would. We're moving at only hours a second right now. So the speed at which they are colliding, I think we're about to have another collision right here. Yup. Oh Jesus. There's so many Earths. <laughs> one another right now you know like when you're broken down on the highway and all the traffic is coming toward you imagine if all the traffic was frigging planets half of them are molten and on fire 600 degrees celsius all the earths in the back of the pack are doing okay it was the ones that are closest to the middle that got screwed up really bad and then once they start to get fairly close to one another just the distance from one another caused them to heat up there's so many that are just spraying it's like little road flares they lets everyone know to go around the accident Earth number one looking to pass Earth number two on the outside, and he gets by. This Earth over here is also spraying its dust all over these other two Earths. This Earth all the way here at the front should do okay for a while. There's still just a ton of fire and fragmentation going on over here. Now I'm kind of curious which Earth will survive. This one got hit like twice or three times. Ooh. Wow. Never mind. I had thought that Earth was going to do a lot better, but now it's absorbing all these different particles. Go ahead and speed things up here a little bit. 
just to see what happens. It looks like we have an Earth going the opposite direction. I, I don't know where it did a U-turn. Oh yeah, starting them all from the same orbit was much better. It keeps all the Earths much, much closer. I'm curious if most of them are done crashing or if we're gonna have more that will you know, spontaneously explode as they come within a few feet of one another. So, this is kind of interesting. The, I don't know if it's maybe like the weight or the gravity of all of the Earths, but they're pulling the sun. Yeah. After a few crashes, all these Earths are totally living in harmony right now. Okay, I'm, I'm mostly just curious if I like maybe get a second sun, I don't think I don't think they're going to orbit one another. I have a feeling they're just going to crash into one another. But hey, I mean, you never know. This could work out. Okay, a lot of the Earths are being shot out from the suns. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's a lot of people dying right now. Well, I, they probably all died from the winter, the negative 79 degree or negative 79 degree Celsius winter that they constantly had. All right, the two suns are doing okay. I think that they have found a type of homeostasis, uh, which is good. Now the Earths should eventually kind of settle into an orbit here. All right, went ahead and uh, let a couple of years go by just to see if anyone's left alive. Uh, the answer is not really. Life sucks a lot. It's negative 116 degrees Celsius to the closest Earth. This is all right. Maybe I can, maybe I can, maybe we can get some Earths to live here. Hold on, should be fine. But. Uh, Put a few over here, a few over here. Actually, let's just put a crap ton of them down. All right, can I get one survivor out of all of this? The answer is no. There's still some Earths that are kind of lingering around, but it's so cold that it'll turn your balls to isoclits. All right, let me see who can survive the figure eight solar system. We've got a really good looking Earth over here. It kind of passes, Never mind. That was my, that was my go-to Earth. And then it got slingshotted out of the solar system. All right, this Earth is my new best Earth. I think this one's gonna make it. Look, it's doing it. Okay, right now, there is only one Earth left. It's this one. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna be able to survive this because it is, nope, right into the sun. <laughs> Why Earth, you were the chosen one. <laughs> I had to take the trash out of the solar system there. I'm hoping I can get a couple of Earths that can do full figure eights and survive. How about you? You're my test Earth. How you doing? Okay, not not too bad. Problem is that the figure eight starts to get a little wide, and when it starts getting wide like that, it starts getting closer and closer to the sun. Yep, that'll get you killed. All right, let's start farther away like this. How about like right in the middle, but a little bit further than the middle. Okay. One of the Earths just hit the sun and broke into a billion pieces. Oh, right on the edge like this. This one's lasted for 67 years. No, it's getting closer and closer to the sun. No. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. More Earths. More Earths. <laughs> One of these has to work. I'm just gonna try all the areas I can. It worked. I got two Earths that are doing figure eights perfectly. It's been going on for 300 years and they're still alive. This Earth is 12 degrees Celsius. This one's negative 36. Well, the question was how many Earths can the solar system support? In Universe Sandbox 2, about 200. Because after that point, you can't even play the game anymore. And hey, we even got some figure eight Earths and they're doing pretty good. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Florida man thanks you too. Until the next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>